Over the last 24 hours, we've seen thousands of Russian troops advance into Ukraine. And arguably, the writing's been on the wall for a while. Putin has amassed over 150,000 troops on the Russian-Ukrainian border over the last couple of months. But despite that, the speed and decisiveness with which he's acted has taken many people by surprise. However the situation unfolds, it's undeniable that we are about to witness the greatest security crisis the world has seen since the Second World War. Russia and Ukraine share a long and complicated history, but to summarize, there are three key points to understand. One is that Ukraine was a former Soviet Republic, and as a result, there are a lot of ethnic Russians, or what Putin considers ethnic Russians, residing in southeastern Ukraine. He claims to be acting in the interests of that population. The second is that Ukraine is strategically very significant for Russia. Russia controls Crimea, um, which it annexed in 2014. It controls the port of Svaspol, which is very significant because Russia has always wanted a warm water port. But currently, Russia does not have a land corridor linking Russia to Crimea. By taking the Donbass, he would establish that land corridor. The third and most, perhaps most important point to understand is that Russia considers NATO to be a direct threat to its national security. NATO was founded as an anti-Russian bloc and since 1997 has massively expanded the alliance to include several former social socialist republics. In Putin's eyes, the only way he can preserve Russian national security and on the flip side also guarantee his popularity leading into the 2024 elections is by taking key parts of Ukraine. Right now, he has denied any attempts to occupy the country, but given the troop movements, it seems likely that he will attempt to take Kiev and Kharkiv along with large parts of Western and Eastern Ukraine. Russia has many avenues through which it can invade Ukraine, and it seems to be making use of those avenues. Uh, it shares a land border with southeastern Ukraine and has sent troops from there into the Donbass region. It's advancing towards Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv, and with its ally Belarus coming from Belarus, it looks increasingly likely to advance towards Kiev. Russia also took Crimea in 2014. It's sending troops through Crimea and the uh, significant port city of Odessa. Reports on the ground are dire. People are talking about bombings, about aerial raids, about having to retreat to shelters or flee the cities. It, it, it very much seems as though the thought on the ground is that war is imminent. India has a set of contradicting interests in the matter. On one hand, India is looking to position itself as a global power in this new multipolar world. And a lot of that would be contingent on its ability to uphold the values of democracy, sovereignty, and human rights. So ethically, India has a lot of considerations. Plus, there are about 20,000 Indian citizens studying in Ukraine right now. But on the other hand, India imports about 60 to 70 percent of its military supplies from Russia. So it'll be very careful of antagonizing the Kremlin. So far at the Security Council, India has called for diplomacy without overtly condemning what Russia has done. It's difficult to predict what will happen uh, as, as the situation unfolds, but it seems increasingly likely that India will maintain its position of non-alignment. So the key question now is how will the West respond? Russia's military forces far outnumber that of Ukraine. And even though it's harder to occupy a country than to defend it, uh, without Western help, Ukraine seems to be in a very, very sensitive situation. So, so far, Biden and Johnson have said that they will impose heavy sanctions on Russia. France and Germany have followed suit. Germany significantly by saying that they'll suspend the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. 
But apart from military assistance and economic sanctions, they have not indicated whether or not they would send troops to the ground. Biden, for his part, has said that no American troops will be sent into Ukraine. Uh, but the European leaders have towed the line thus far. Uh, what would be important to consider is Russian supply of natural gas. Russia supplies a vast amount of natural gas to European nations. And by threatening to cut off supplies, he has a significant geopolitical tool in his arsenal. Nord Stream 2 was a huge announcement. Germany saying that they would can cancel that project removes a lot of leverage that J Russia would have over Germany. But whether or not the West has gone far enough to deter potential aggression is yet to be seen.